Hi, I'm Ellie Goodman. I'm a senior here at East, and I will be attending American University in D.C. for International Affairs and Government. I've been a part of the theater department and music department for the past four years. Um, I did the Jewish Culture Club my freshman year, and then um, became more involved in the theater department and music department by becoming vice president of our Thespian Society, secretary of East Singers, um, and just doing a lot of the one acts, coffee house, the fall show, spring musical, lab theaters, um, all the other concerts that we've been doing. I came from a really small school with like 24 kids in my graduating class. So coming here, I felt a little nervous, but I was excited. And by having like that sort of group of friends and those kind of people that you surround yourself with daily, it's really helped you gain a lot, well, helped me gain a lot of confidence in meeting new friends and talking to new people and sort of branching out of my doing crowd and just meeting people from my classes and just talking to them and just uh, forming relationships with them. I think like the group of friends that I've established here and like the community that I've built because like when you're in a place for four years you build that kind of relationship and that kind of uh, bonding with these different kind of people and I think I'll miss that the most because I've really formed a great group of friends in doing like I said out of doing in school out of school so I think I'll just miss the feeling of East and just like the community and the comfort like being comfortable here at East was really important for me and luckily I was able to do that and accomplish that and I think I'll just miss everyone and the atmosphere of East. I looked at America and it was a beautiful sunny day and I was like, ah, this is it. <laughs> it sort of reminded me of East though because the community is so strong and the group of friends that you see walking around, you see that they have such a great relationship with each other and I can't wait to come into that atmosphere and that environment where I can make new friends so easily like I've done here at East. Yeah, I think everyone's a little nervous for going out into the world and becoming so independent from your parents and from just like, like I said, the atmosphere here at East. I know, like, like I said before, I was nervous coming here and of course I'm going to be nervous going to college because it's entirely different than high school. It's, you're not um, home with your parents all the time, you're by yourself, you're all, it's very independent. So I think everyone will get a little nervous, I'm a little nervous, but I'm really excited to start a new journey. Well, luckily over the years I've established really good bonds with all my teachers, especially like the history ones since I've taken a lot of the AP and honors courses. Um, I've gotten really close with my music teachers here, Mr. Weaver here. Um, I feel like a lot of them gave me really good advice saying that just be yourself when you're out there, just uh, accomplish what you need to no matter what. You're always going to have obstacles in the road. That's what Mr. Weaver always says is that you're always going to have those little bumps in the road, but you're able to always pick yourself up and dust yourself off and continue because that's what life is about. It's not one straight pathway. There's always going to be those bumps and the curves and the storms, if you will, in the road and the sky that are going to affect you, but always in a positive way, I think. Well, last year I played Scout in To Kill a Mockingbird, so I have to say that's probably my favorite role in a straight play that I did. Um, and then two years ago, I was in a one act where I won Best Supporting Actress, uh, Best Comedic Timing, and then just Excellence in Acting, and I played an old woman. And apparently, I'm really good at playing young children and old people because of my height, <laughs> so I really enjoy playing those kind of characters, but I have to say Scout was my favorite because I had a really deep connection with her, and um, it's my favorite book, so I was really excited to dive into the play as well. Well, I think this year, like I told other people, I made like a senior bucket list. I know it sounds really stupid, but it was sort of like I wanted to come out of my comfort sh um, comfort zone a little bit more and just talk to new people and meet new people and really be out there. So I have to say my favorite memory from this year is just meeting a lot new people, a lot more people and just really um, getting to know really nice classmates that I have because I, like before I was really secluded into dealing because that's what my friends were. And I would talk to other people outside of school, but not as much as I do now, and I'm really glad I was able to do that. Yeah, I think personally I, I started to bond more my senior year than the other years because I think the realization that you won't be here next year finally hits you, and you figure, wow, this is the last time I'll ever be able to connect with these kind of people and their classmates. So I think for me, I wanted to go out and just meet as many new people as I have and just become friendly with everyone. That sounds really weird, but... And just, I think, yeah, senior year, people think, wow, I won't be here much longer. I only have nine months left of my high school experience, so people want to get in as much as they have. Like Mr. Weaver says, what I gave I had, what I kept I lost forever. So I think that's really important in senior years that you try your best to meet everyone and just make it the year you'll never forget. I don't know. I'm always silly.